case number four is Brooke Burke. She's 41. She's an American actress, dancer, model, and television personality. Uh, she's been on Dancing with the Stars, hosted the annual Golden Globe Awards, uh, the pre-show for that. She also hosted in 2011, 2012, and 2013 the Miss America pageant. She does a lot of flying. And in November, she was diagnosed with thyroid cancer. This article appeared on Fox News December 17th of 2012, and from the article it said, although no one wants a diagnosis of cancer, the good news is that thyroid cancer is one of the most treatable types, says Dr. John Yim, professor of surgery at City of Hope National Medical Center. More and more people around the world are being diagnosed with cancer of the thyroid, a butterfly-shaped gland in the neck, and no one is sure why. Well, one of the reasons why there's such a large increase is that on March um, 17th, which is two days before the Fukushima, first clouds of Fukushima radiation reached the west coast of North America, the U.S. Surgeon General um, had sent out a notice to every county, the public health department in every county in the United States, uh, warning the public health departments to notify all medical doctors in those counties, in their county, that um, they should not uh, provide iodine or encourage patients to take iodine, uh, patients who are concerned about the Fukushima radiation. And uh, the, the iodine disappeared from uh, pharmacies. The doctors would not provide it for their patients. They told them not to worry about it. I'm sure some good doctors who were concerned about their patients made uh, accommodated them. But boy, that's the first thing I ran out and got as soon as uh, those as soon as I knew there was a Fukushima problem, because that stuff was over here. Um, let's see, in uh, Seven days, eight days. It travels pretty fast. And uh, a woman sent me two letters from two doctors in two different counties, Sonoma County, north of San Francisco, and uh, the county where where Stanford is. Um, I've forgotten what county that is. But um, those those letters were sent to those doctors. I read them. And I was really shocked. And what it said in the letters is that, um, oh, they shouldn't take iodine uh, because it, it might damage their heart or it might make them sick or whatever. Well, I'm telling you, not taking it is what is making them sick. So obviously, the Surgeon General uh, was ordered to do that and to deprive the entire American population of any way to protect their thyroids and their children. Uh, it was so crazy. It's so deliberate. It's so obvious. It's undeniable. In a recent study from Joseph Mangano and Jeanette Sherman, hypothyroid cases in five states on the Pacific Ocean, Alaska, California, Hawaii, Oregon, and Washington, increased by 28% from March 17th to June 30th, 2011. They reported that large amounts of fallout disseminated worldwide from the meltdowns in four reactors at the Fukushima Daiichi plant, including radioiodine isotopes. Just days after the meltdowns, iodine-131 concentrations in U.S. precipitation was measured up to 211 times above normal. It was horrendous. The highest levels in airborne gross beta were documented in the five U.S. states on the Pacific Ocean, and that's where we're seeing this rise. Now, this data only goes through to June 30th of 2011. Yeah, they um, they quit reporting and they quit making the uh, information available to the public. 